This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. Even now, so many decades later, it's difficult for us to wrap our minds around why the Nazis did what they did. The defense they gave at Nuremberg is almost baffling in its simplicity. We were just following orders. Had millions of Germans just collectively gone insane? How else could so many have accepted the order to carry out those atrocities? The truth, unfortunately, is that mild-mannered, regular people really made the best Nazis. They obeyed laws. They didn't question authority. They didn't rock the boat, lest attention be drawn to themselves. After World War I left so many families in a desperate state, it must have been strangely relieving to have a common enemy they could blame their problems on. Perhaps state-sponsored anti-Semitism provided an acceptable outlet for the darker urges some of them might have been harboring. It certainly helped that Jews had already been a common scapegoat for society's ills, and had faced persecution for centuries. Twenty years after the Nazis were defeated, a similar dynamic was at play at a micro-scale in the basement of an Indiana home. We see a woman, Gertrude Beneshevsky, filled with hatred after a lifetime of hardship. We also see an innocent teenage girl she blamed all her problems on. Through ways that are still difficult to understand, Gertrude became a ringleader of torture against Sylvia Likens, rallying together a small army of neighborhood children. But how did she do it? Was it the power of mob mentality? Were they all jealous of Sylvia? Were they afraid of becoming the odd one out, potentially putting themselves as the second in line for abuse? After all, even Sylvia's innocent little sister ended up partaking in the crimes against her sister. What causes regular, mild-mannered people to turn into animals? This book will explore the life of the woman behind one of America's most notorious child abuse cases and attempt to make sense out of her horrifically senseless crime.